Am I live? Yes, I am. Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to At the Close, Spencer Israel. I have Joel with me, and uh, you're here too. So this is exciting. We have a half hour left in the trading day and in the trading week. Uh, and wouldn't you know it, um, nobody seems to want to own stocks into the close here because we've been leaking for the past uh, few minutes. But we are green uh, no, I take that back. We're not green, actually. Uh, we were we were green, and now we're flat, and actually now we're down. So uh, that, that's how it goes. We are green in most sectors, though. We are up in most sectors. It's just that the indexes are, are in the red here. Uh, but we'll see how things shake out for the next half hour. I'm going to bring Joel on, so smash the like button for Joel, please. And uh, here we go. All right, it is time for pre-market prep at the close. Three consecutive highs open, matched yesterday's low, and then once it took out there, that's all the breakout momentum traders needed. Joel, we were green, and then I looked up, and then we weren't green anymore. Oh, boy. Are you having, can you hear me? Yes. Huh. My mic was, uh, maybe I have a loose wire, like a like a loose screw in my head or something. Oh. Uh, rough day. Uh, for the index here, heading into the close, uh, we don't want to see AMC. Things were looking peachy keen, okay? At 11 o'clock, we were ripping. We were at the high of the session, and uh, boom, the old uh, missile trick uh, on the uh, Saudi Aramco storage facility. Yeah. That brought out sellers, and it brought them out big time. We took out the pre-market low, and it looked like we were going to have a really bad day. And then somehow, they brought this market all the way back up to 4530. And then you turn your head at the 3 o'clock witching hour, and boom, we pulled off over 20 handles from that. So, uh, tough session. Uh, still green for the week. Uh, 1250 was uh, what I wanted us to see close uh, for a new high close of the rebound. Uh, that could still happen here. We still have uh, 27 minutes left. Uh, but mm, just a choppy day. You just got to be looking both ways um, in this market. Uh, crude, uh, crude was down, and it looked like it was to have a big down day. But, uh, man, you know, you get the attack on the Aramco storage facility right back up 84 cents, 113.18. Gold gives back some gains down 620 in 1956. Silver going the same way down 29 cents at 25.63. Bitcoin, ooh, 45.4 sneaks into the 45K handle, a level you all are familiar with. And, uh, uh, it pulled back only up $185 at 44350 And Ethereum futures are actually in the red by $31.50 at $3,100. Uh, let's talk. Let's start with cannabis stocks here, Joel. Uh, it was a flip floppy day here. Uh, if you were ob if you were long from yesterday, you had a really good morning, obviously. Uh, but they all sold off with pretty much without abandon, uh, in them right off the open. And the, if you bought all these things off the open, you immediately took heat until about when? Like noon? Yeah, 11.30. 11.30? Yeah, 11.30, yeah. It turned yeah. on you again. It turned on you again. And so, yes, in the aggregate, they are all going to close higher today by a lot to raise up, what, 20 to 21 percent canopy is up almost 10 percent uh but it it wasn't always that easy because everybody that bought this thing off the open took heat for like three and a half uh what two two and a half two hours mm -hmm. it's tough you know i i don't really i don't i don't say this much but mm -hmm. these stocks are I, I just don't have a good feel for them yeah, I really don't. I, and I, you know, when when you bring up tickers and we look at stuff, I, you know, I really try, you know, I really try and give a good level. You know what I mean? And uh, it just, it just, it's just hard. I would have been telling you, well, wait for a gap fill, and you didn't get that. Uh, the pre market high was taken out. Uh, you know, not by much. So uh, it's just tough. So if uh, if you guys press me on an individual uh, issue, I'll you know I'll yeah. try and give you a level, but 
they're tough. I just I, think yeah. they're really tough. I say this as someone that you know owns cannabis stocks, but man, they never hold their gains like ever. Every time these things go up, they always end up giving it back. And I, I it just so I was not surprised. I, I was more surprised to see the turn uh, at at eleven thirty at noon than I was to see the turn off the open. Yeah, I they mean, never the fun- they never hold. <laughs> they never- my my. F- I don't know. I really don't. Uh, yeah, I, I guess it's just like I don't understand the the fundamentals completely, and I don't understand the technicals that that well. So I guess when you you don't understand it, you don't have a good feel. It's just uh, it's just good to good to stay out. So that's. Uh, but if you want, if you if you throw a stock in there, I'll try and get you something. Uh, I mean, let's look at the like, canopy, which is the one of the larger ones, and and has the, some some of the most liquidity and. And and highest volume. Uh, real quick before we do that, uh, yeah. Black Emmet, Black Maj, uh, good question. I never touch shorting inputs. Recently, I was afraid, I'm terrified of them. I feel realized that this is not rational. How do I get past that? Uh, what I think I would do is um, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I I would just try messing with some puts. You know, first of all, and uh, because if you buy a put, then the most you can lose is your put. So if you if you you know the price of the put. So if you buy a put for a hundred dollars, you know what your loss is, right? And uh, also um, to get an understanding of the options and stuff, if you um, it's good to sell them too. So if you happen to be trading a good profitable put position, but you don't want to, you know, take it off. You can always, you know, sell the lower put to, to lock in some gains or take things off. So um, that's what I would do. Shorting is tough. Uh, it also depends on your size of your account. You obviously have un- unlimited losses, but uh, that's my advice for you. If uh, you want to start looking at the short side, let's look at canopy quickly. And then we'll, then See, we'll, all right, give me a level. Give me a level. Give me something easy that I could tell our listening C- audience that CGC. I could see. CGC. I mean, yeah, it's a, it's a widely traded stock. It's a widely traded stock. Now, that did give you a gap fill. Now, and, and that's some. They actually gave you a shot to buy the close there. It closes 790. It went to 777. Triple seven. So that there, there would have worked. That trick would have worked there. Uh, making it high, you just hit a high at eight seventy nine. I was gonna go short term here, and uh, you want to see this uh, take out. I'm not gonna worry about nine fifty right now, uh, but I'd see these pesky highs over nine, nine ten, and nine twenty four. I think that's what I would like to see on Monday or Tuesday early next week. Uh, if not, you get back some of those gains. So okay. do have a level for you in CGC. All right. What else was on my list here today? I mean, we talked about oil a little bit, but whole oil market sort of in flux today in light of the um, the the uh, the missile strike. So uh, I thought I rem- I'd remembered prior missile strikes, and it turns out they were from September of 2019. There were several strikes on the Saudi Aramco um, facilities there. So if you want to see how oil reacted to lows, go back go to go back to September of 19 there. Um, obviously they're going to figure out a way to control the supply no matter what happens and, uh-huh. and, and get supply back online regardless. So any moves there are going to be short term in nature. Um, Joe, I have been unable to figure out why the vaccine stocks are down uh, today. If anyone knows why Moderna, Novavax, BioNTech are all mm-hmm. lower, uh, holler at me, but I don't know. Uh, they're just, you know, um, I just look at uh, for the Moderna. I'll just blame it on the technicals. You know, you had the nice move up to 180, 185, 188. You just hung out there. You hung out there. You hung out there. And then you ran out of buyers. Buyers turned to sellers. That's the only thing I can see in that. Haven't heard much COVID talk as late with uh, the uh, the war in the Ukraine going on and now the, the bombing of the Ramco facility. Uh t- BNTX, kind of same thing, hit its high on Monday and just kind of leaked, uh, ran out of buyers, haven't looked at Pfizer in a while. Pfizer is doing okay, uh, hanging in there. Uh, you talked about BMY. I don't know, was that in the pre? Ooh, BMY. Continues. I know, I know, it's, oh. it's ripping. It, it, it's not just BMY. 
It's uh, it's Eli Lilly. It's all of them, right? It's Eli Lilly. It's it's Johnson Johnson. It's um. That had some news though, didn't it, J and J? Uh, I I didn't see J. Maybe it maybe it did. I, I, if there is, I didn't see it. Uh, it's Abvi, which is at an all time high. That is a beast. That uh, is a beast. It's, of it's a all the pharmaceuticals. All the pharmaceuticals. They can, we we mentioned this like two weeks ago when they were at all time highs, and here they are again at new all time highs. Um, good question from Jay. Although I would need a little bit of more specificity here. Uh, new highs. What like new all time high? Not all time highs. He means. I think he means new highs are for the year, but unclear to me what what he means. But my guess would be financials and um, if I'm going to look at my my uh, think or swim right now, financials and utes utilities would be my guess. Um, oh, I, I said it before. He put it in there. Um, I'm guessing it's financials and utilities made made new highs today. Um, just looking at the banks and looking at utilities. <laughs> Maybe I cheated, but banks too. Uh, I don't even know if I'm right. I just guessed the banks. Uh, yeah, I don't think so. I think um... no. All right, sorry. I it was. I think he's referring to the year, though. I don't quite know when he's re- with his time frame on that question. Um, what else is on my list here? Oh, I wanted to bring this up just real fast uh, for next week. Obviously, very light on the earnings front we are in between earnings seasons right now a couple of names to watch out for uh these are not all of the earnings reports there's there's you know a a couple hundred reports next week but they're all really really small these are the only ones that i care about uh you know dave and busters micron lulu restoration hardware five below walgreens so a couple of notable names but um that's pretty much it. Yeah, real late in the earnings cycle here. But, yeah, we'll keep an eye on those. Yeah. Shelly says bull markets make her depressed. Well, Shelly, do I have news for you? Um, markets tend to go up. <laughs> so I don't know what to tell you there. What else here? What else was on my list? Uh, what else did we talk about this morning, Joel? We talked about we, Neo. Neo. Yeah. That got- Asana. Asana. Oh, did you see Asana today? Uh, it got whooped up pretty good, right? Didn't like that, uh, that offering. Yeah. Yeah. Mm, yeah. I give it back. Man, it's not a great time to do an offering either. Right. Um, uh, I don't know. It's not the worst time ever. No, I just, I don't know. I'm starting to worry about Dustin here. Uh, but I don't think I need to, uh, what's good. Can I give you any good news off this chart? Um, not really. Uh, off the low of the day, uh, that's good. A buck forty. Uh, did it coincide with anything? No, not really. Uh, I, I mean, if you if you felt like you missed the move up here, uh, I guess you, today's your opportunity, your chance to get in. But uh, you got to lean on the low of the move here, and that's that, that's down at thirty one fifty. Uh, so don't know if we're gonna get there. Do we get back? Let's see. We went from. 3150, let's call it 4750, 16 point move eight. That's 3950. So, got to get, I'd see if I was going to try and attempt along, maybe let's see if we can get back over 3950 and hold. Uh, some people are not going to be happy when they look at their statement this morning, you know, uh, tomorrow and say, what? This thing was at 42 and 45. I thought it was coming back. Now it's 38. So, you might see a little uh, a little fall through on the downside on then, Monday in Asana. And then Neo uh, reiterated their uh, prior delivery guidance for the quarter. So, uh, I, you know, yeah. it's still not yeah. making money. It's still not profitable. But I always thought deliveries is more important, was the most important thing here. Uh, I mean, it's not helping them that all of China is, is down today. Yeah, there you go. But nothing is down quite to the same extent as Neo. Yeah, and uh, where is it on here? This is I. uh, I didn't. Oh, there it is. Yeah, this aggressive after hours buyer man. He got stuffed just as uh uh just as uh um the uh who was talking about it? Oh, a Deutsche Bank analyst was talking about it, and uh. And they they bought it up, took it up, up over for the high for the week, and then 
took it down. So it was, I think that had something to do with the decline. And you did, you did mention correctly, right? The China thing uh, is weighing on the stock too. Also, Triple D made a good point and went from 13 to like 23 in like six trading sessions. So that's a big move. Uh, let's take a look at the Bobster. How's the Bobster? Uh, it's still going to have a green candle for the day or higher higher open or higher close in the open. Uh, JD.com. Uh, that gave a little bit back. Nothing, nothing, nothing special in these. No, not even quiet, quiet. Um, I'm look, just looking around at the biggest movers of the day. We kind of covered a, a a good chunk of them. Although Joel, you, before we hopped on, you mentioned uh, well, I mentioned Carvana, and then you mentioned uh, Avis budget. But did you see Carvana today? Because it's getting lost, and I really don't know what that's about. I mean, it's it's. I mean, it's been in a massive, massive downtrend for uh, what seven, eight months now. Yeah, I mean, there's just you know, this is a lesson in your you know your daily highs and lows. I mean, they don't always work out this well. But if you were following this thing, you know, you hit the high on Monday, one fifty eighty four. Excuse me, uh, Wednesday, one fifty eighty four. Right, a couple days they stocked one forty eight, one forty nine. Couple highs there, forty nine oh seven. Opened up, couldn't get the high, and just turned, and the momentum turned on it. Ah, uh, boy, that stock is wow. That thing was over three fifty. Um, also, not really seeing anything here. I guess if if you feel that you missed the move in Carvana, you went from a uh, let's call it a just really fifty fifty dollar move. You might want to dip your toe in at one twenty five, one twenty six. Uh, some lows just above 120, but uh, big red candle. And as you can see here, big red candle had another big red candle. Here, a big red candle had another big red candle. So uh, mm -hmm. be careful on that one. Um, and that was pretty much the extent of the stocks that I was that I was watching or at least paying attention to today. Uh, if anyone else has any tickers for us, we got about 12 minutes left here in the session. We can do some ticker time uh, and just take a take a look at what you are watching. But, Good point by Jay. If mortgage rates are going up, car loan, you know that's that's going to weigh on the uh, on the all, industry yeah. too, right? That's all all, all I know about Carvana is they everything I hear about them is they overpay for everything. They overpay for cars. Uh, plus, I thought we were already in a subprime auto loan bubble. From, that was from like three years ago. Does anyone else remember that? Or was that just me? I could have sworn we already had a subprime auto loan. Or maybe the bubble never burst. That's the problem, right? Is the bubble never burst. Exactly. Um, just kind of got, you know. It just kind of kept going? Yes. Yeah, all right. Maybe that's true. Uh, okay, tickers coming. Let's go. How about Visa for key shares? Yeah. V. Ooh, Keith. Man, this thing's got to get to 220. I mean, this is a nice move up last Friday. Didn't super perform with the market uh, this week. That's a little bit of a, you know, not a great sign. But you peaked at 220 late February. You make a run at it last Friday or last third, last Friday. You make a run, another run at it on Tuesday. Uh, let's get over there. Let's show we can get to 220 and hold 220. Uh, then things open up 225, but uh, keep an eye on that if you're, um, you know, if you're, you know, looking to lock in some profits. I wouldn't be shorting it. I mean, if you're shorting it here, you gotta, you're, you're risking two bucks to see what happens. But uh, 220 sticking out to me, Keith. All right. Uh, well, Frank asked about Monday MNDY. I think Asana is dragging this one down today. Uh, those two trade pretty close together. They do. Monday.com and, and, and Asana. So it's it's down with Asana today. I don't know if Joel's at any levels there, but Oh, look at that Stone Co. Oh, I talked about this one this morning with Sean, and I'm like, oh boy, oh boy. Major double top. See how it turned on a double top there from earlier in the week? And then boom, give it all back. Stone Co Limited. Okay, what's next on the hit parade? Um, there was a few. Oh, yeah, we can look at Apple and Tesla. I mean, Apple's gonna well, I shouldn't say going to because it's not a foregone conclusion because it's barely up today. But Apple has had nine day, yeah. I know, you know what? It's in it's in jeopardy here, Joel. 
It's close. Uh, the uh, the CNBC producer uh, uh, was in the show today because that was a big topic. Um, on uh, or, you know, they had it on uh, CNBC after after the show was over. Uh, I mean, eight day, nine day, right? Uh, this one is a little bit less of an update, right? Fractionally up after the four buck gain from yesterday. Uh, but still, good day. Uh, high close of the rebound, nine in a row. Nine higher lows, nine higher highs, and nine higher closes. It's a streak. Just, uh, just you know, just make sure. I'd, I'd move up to the bottom. I want to try and pick a top. I'd say, hey, one seventy two seventy five. That's been the highest low of the rebound, and or you know, of the of this recent rally. Throw your stop under there and. You know, see what happens. See if you can get back. I still like this uh, one set over one seventy seven. I gave you this. Uh, was that is that one seventy seven there? No, that's a different one. Oh yeah, what? Because that's one seventy five. Um, this would be really where I want to see it get to seventy seven eighteen, seventy six sixty two. This you know one seventy seven five star number. If this rally. Uh, can keep going. All right, let's 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 look at let's look at ET energy transfer. ET. Who, who dropped this one in there? It was I just had it and then I lost it. It was Ooh. from a, Matt Abel. This is a uh, this has a big divvy, doesn't it? Doesn't this thing pay like a juicy dividend? You can look right now. Let's see. ET pay home. Uh, yeah, nice. No, well, and actually, I think below the industry average, it's got a 6.8% yield, which okay. is not nothing, but it's certainly not, I wouldn't call it high for for uh, for uh, MLP, which is, I believe, what this is. You know, you're looking, you're looking at on, on the daily chart and you're thinking, wow, man, this thing is getting, you know, this is a big move, 950 to 1050. And you're thinking, well, you know, maybe too big of a move. But then you look down at the bottom right chart and you say, hey, this maybe maybe the party's just getting started. Uh, you're breaking out here above some monthly highs. Uh, this is the highest level it's been since July of 2021. You had a 1077 high there. You got a 1069 high here. Maybe it'll take a couple days to chew through it. But, I mean, it had to run up here. It had two days of consolidation and then the continuation move. So, let's looks good. Looks good on the monthly. See if we can get it over that close of, uh, get over that July 21 high at 1077. Spoos are right back up. 23 handles sell off, and you know what? To buy the dippers, they just come in just with both hands and uh, back right back up. We are right back up to where we were uh, before we uh, sold off going into the final hour. So keeping an eye on uh, that um, uh, 4530 area. Hold on. Do I have just bad charts or what? Wait. For what? <laughs> In, in in WD forty, <laughs> wait. What? Yeah, because they missed it up this morning. No, because... no, 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 no. I, but like, I I know that. But like, the all after everything after that is also messed up. <laughs> what the heck? Well, it, it messed with your thirty minute and your sixty minute. Uh, all right, I got to zoom yeah. right in here. What a what a mess. What a mess. Oh my yeah, gosh. Yeah, this right. is not good. It's making a new low for the move. Green candle. Uh, I don't know why this thing is so I so bad. Let's see. Uh, man, what you had? You had a low at 183.55 in December, October of 2000. Your low right there, 183.46. So that's what you're leaning on the the monthly lows there. Uh, but just t- just tired, just like a just just a tired chart. I mean, look how they walked. Had the big whoosh down to 220, then they walked it down from 220 to 210. They walked it down to 190. It looks like they're walking it down again, but uh, got to keep an eye on the low of the move. I uh, want to throw a couple things on everyone's radar for next week, aside from earnings. We do have a OPEC Plus meeting on Thursday of next week. So th- keep that in the back of your minds. Uh, Friday is, of course, and also Thursday is the end of the quarter. 
uh, which means Friday is the first day of the month, which means we'll probably get a bunch of uh, EV delivery reports and some retail sales numbers uh, on Friday. Uh, you know, Tesla, Neo, Xpeng, um, LE, and maybe maybe Costco uh, with some comps as well. So keep keep an eye out on your EV stocks and your uh, your retailers on Friday. But Thursday also end of the close. So maybe some window dressing, you know, into into the close next week uh, or into the end of the quarter next week as we. Uh, and, and then uh, and then you have the uh, the jobs number on Friday. Uh, oh, yeah. So they gonna, yeah, that's the first Friday of yeah, the month. It's the first yeah. Friday of the month. That's true. Forgot all about wow. that. Thank you got you. a lot going on when when uh, you're gone vacationing, Spencer. I'll be gone for two days. Uh, okay. Um, Patrick Star shorted Square at one thirty six. Let's see what's going uh, on. On square. It's at one thirty right now. Any any thoughts? Ooh, I mean, you got it on pretty good. Uh, down five eleven in a in an up tape uh, today. I think I, I would if you can get through this low here at one twenty five sixty, then I think things get more interesting. But as long as you know, the longer it takes and the longer it doesn't go down there. Then you just got to look at this as just a little, you know, perhaps a little bit retreat. But uh, I don't think you really get real excited on the downside until you take out 125.60. You got to 27.23 today and you've gotten a nice bounce. So uh, there you go. That's a pretty big range in that today. Uh, but um, make sure, you know, you get more downside, need to take out that 25.60 low. I'm just trying to zoom out a little bit, just to just to, just to keep take stock of where we are for the week here, Joel. We're at the highest of the week, Spencer. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm. Yeah. Looking, I mean, I'm looking at the spy, but I'm also looking at the different indexes and or the or the different sectors, and uh, yeah, we're looking pretty good here, mostly across the board. It's uh, a, yeah, it's a, a tough day, but you know, overall for the week, I mean, closing clo open on the lows for the week and close on the yeah. highs for the week. Yeah, I mean, outside of a couple, like outside of healthcare, like at the XLV, and outside of what's that? Was that was real estate? <laughs> real estate's up, but uh, you got pretty much green across the board for the week uh, again. So that's exciting. Because yeah. The uptrend just more or less keeps keeps on. Yeah, um, we're we're yeah. The uh, like what I said today was a little bit more of a choppy session. You had that uh, that uh, that news and the Saudi Aramco news, uh, but um, strong close here. The high is thirty nine, and uh, here we are at uh, forty five thirty one fifty. Yep. Uh, yeah. So I th I'm just thinking back to a few weeks ago. A few weeks ago was when we made the low, but we um, actually no, nah, never mind. I was gonna that, that was the week we made the low, but then it, the week the last week was a good week. This week was also a good week, so now two good weeks in a row since the bottom. So that, that that's that's nice. It's nice to zoom out and look at the weekly every uh, every every so often. Um, just uh, anything I missed from the chat? What is this? What is this one? S M F R. That's a smaller one. Uh, SMFR weekly, Jim says. SMFR weekly. Well, it's it's a lower price stock. I don't know. Um, I'd say, I mean, you have three's tough. Uh, 310, 315, 320. These are all these uh daily highs here. So, but a good bar today. Uh, that's what you want to see. But uh, above 310, 315, I think it's a little more interesting. The upside at SEMA 4 holding. Corp. So uh, make sure you get get this thing over three fifteen. All right, we are five seconds away from the close here, so that's exciting. We we made it, Joel. Uh, yeah, we are it's... making it not at the highs of the day, just about there. Uh, Looks like thirty six where you're gonna get marked on this one. Uh, so three the, points the off Apple, the, the Apple win streak continues nine days in a row exactly five okay. cents. Green, uh, in the uh, in the spy tech was weak today, uh, but or weaker, I should say. But uh, 
by and large, a pretty decent decent day on, on a decent week. Not much to hate about that. So that's a wrap for us here today, or this week. Please remember that all the information from our show is meant to be used as informational purposes, not for investing or training advice. We'll be back on Monday morning. Everyone have a great rest of your day. Have a great weekend. Enjoy it. Get outside. And uh, see you on Monday. Thank you.